How's it going? We are playing Seven Days to Die. Uh, here are all my settings. We're going to be doing the warrior setting. Um, we're going to have 60 minute days. And you're in for the long haul. So let's just start it. So hopefully we spawn in a good spot. Um, yeah. I think we're going to have... I looked at the seed and it looked pretty good. There was a big clump of towns at one spot of the map. Um, Alright, how's it going? We're back after that long, long load. We got a little, we got a stump right here. Some soup. Um, I'm going to turn down my sensitivity real quick. Because this is a little too high for me. Yeah, okay, that's better. <clears throat> so we're gonna make ourselves. We got enough wood. Get some feathers, uh, stone. I do know that they did change it, so it's kind of harder now to get stone. Um, early on, but. It's nice that we're, uh, there's a, on the map it shows, uh, snow up this way. So I might go up here to find some stones real quick. Um, get some plant fibers as we go up here. Yeah. This, if you find a little snow area, it's pretty good. Because there's a lot of, uh, uh it's easy to spot them out in the snow. This is a uh, really weird terrain. Like, it's like all flat. It's cool though. All right, we did that. It's a pretty nice looking map though. There might be a town over there, but for now we're gonna go get these rocks. I know I'm gonna need them. Wanna make sure you always get enough uh, supplies so that if you do break your tool or anything else like that, it uh. You have enough to make another one. It's almost done. We're gonna get some plant fibers after this. All right. Get some plant fibers. Come on, there we go. The one that sucks is I'm not seeing many, uh, or any roads nearby, I had to look around. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Let's make ourselves some clothes, gloves, hood, pants, and shirts. And while that is being made, let's get ourselves some wood. Alright, and then uh, some shoes. So I think the shirt's almost done. There we go. Uh, can't I just... Yeah. There we go. Trying to finish this tree off. Right. Weapons, a club. Uh, okay, so now we need to make a wooden bow and two arrows. But I'm gonna make seven or. Yeah, just as many as I can. Alright, those are done, but now I need to make... Uh, this should be in basics, right there. Get three of them going to complete the quest. Oh. 
And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but to upgrade, you can use your uh, axe you make. Let's craft one of those, and then, uh, oh, that's gonna need to take some time, so I might as well just make um, two of them. Get that there. Oh. Just dropping all my things. I'm not going to place the bedroll just yet. Um, I kind of want to see where, if I could find a, uh, some sort of house. But I don't want to just place it in the middle of nowhere. But I do see a road, which is good. There is, this is like Stone Valley right here. Like, if I ever need rocks, I know where to go. All right, and this is actually a really like decent area. All right, so unfortunately, let me see. Is this? Um, no, this is not zero zero. This is just a town. Which is good. Right. So we could go live in there or there. Alright, let's try to get... Oh, I gotta... There we go, got the two times bonus damage. Let's just melee. Come on. Alright, so she's dead. Anything? Oh, no, she's not. I forgot. I totally forgot about that. Oh my, I thought I heard uh, some big guy. All right, so the thing is, I'm not sure if this is zero zero. I don't believe it is. I think it's a town next to the derelict city. Um, now what's really weird is this kind of looks really small. Like it, there's a couple zombies in there. It looks like it's just, huh? That's really interesting. It's just this and this. So, I mean, like, we could live in either this place, um, or we could move into here. Alright, so those are all locked, but... Hmm. You know what, we're just gonna go make our own little place, um, over here. Uh, for now, but we're in a really good, like, centralized location. Some dust, but it's a really interesting place we got here. So I was thinking about, oh. I want to get that deer. What? You guys saw that, right? Whatever. I shot that deer like right in the freaking head and it just went right through it. We got some potassium on the left over there. Kill him. All right, okay, we're gonna start making some frames now. Let's make 55. Um, 
So yeah, it's kind of really interesting that it's just that. There's literally nothing else but that. Um, I do like the location though, because there is a desert right here. And it's the desert's really good for getting water and uh, or yucca juice and yucca fruit. So basically, uh, you never starve in the desert as long as you got a bottle of water. So, I think I might make the base somewhere. Either I might move into there, like I might just break down the bottom, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, Alright, we got that. We got some coal somehow. Alright, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna move into the garage for now. So it kind of seems like that'd be a good, good spot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just. Oh, we got a pig. So I'm gonna break this down. There's a zombie in here. Two. I don't have any more feathers. Um. There's a lot of zombies in here, actually. Let's just try to search these cars. And... Yeah. Um... I wasn't expecting there to be four zombies just chilling. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so I think our best bet would just be to build our house like at the edge of this uh, on the flat part because there's nothing over here. But I don't want to build it too close to the frozen, so we get these big lumberjack dudes. So let's build it like somewhere right around here. I'm like in this area, so let's get some plant fibers going. That dude's coming over here, but we'll take care of him. Oh, there we go. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to kill uh, the zombie over there, too. Let's back off a little bit. Yeah, these guys are kind of tough. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's why I can't sprint. Okay. Um. Okay, come on. All right, I just gotta lay off for a second. If anything, I'm gonna try to actually just run away, so Let's start running. Alright, now we can make a couple more arrows. Yeah, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run and then turn left. Are they... So I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it real quick right here.
Uh, the first episode will be extra long, just so uh, um, we can get a good base going. So, looks pretty good. And then, since we're building in this area, we'll have uh, tons of trees to make some. Actually, what I should be doing is getting wood. Um, the wood so I could upgrade the frames. Because so I think it's 10 each, or like 25 for each uh, plank I upgrade. So I need to make sure I have a lot of wood. And then during the night, uh, we're going to just make uh, axes, bows, but mainly uh, wood clubs. Uh, so that we get the skills up and make the collecting a lot easier. Alright. Uh, let's go, like, this far out. So, like, nine... That's nine by let's do nine by twelve for now. Just so it's not a huge base. Um I need to favorite these. Because I like to just click on these and find them. a lot easier to find them replacing them as they're being made all right and while those will get more wood And it's actually kind of cool how it's just those uh, two buildings. Because it's like, if hopefully there would be a munitions crate in there. Um, and then there's also a couple safes and stuff in that building over there. Right, let's... I'm not gonna really upgrade um, these frames until uh, we get the like structure actually built. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, let's make two of those, and then we need to have one chest because we're gonna to we need more wood. I think is what we need. We're gonna, this will be our junk chest for the, um, that's like in the ground. Okay. So we're going to put these bad axes away. Because we are going to be just using the better ones and constantly craft these to uh, get better ones. We just need to get some uh, stone now. Let's get that one. Because each one I get is a little bit better than the last. Alright. Last one was that one. And then make more. It's basically an endless circle of just craft and then uh, throw them away when I'm done. And then uh, since now that my inventory is almost full, 
I'll be able to just scroll to the better one like that. Because if you look at the bottom, I'm going, I'm switching my tools every time. All right, I'm going to go to that. I need to stay crouched. Where's that junk chest? That guy's coming right over here. I'm going to walk this way. Um, I mean, like, I could also... Just toss all these on the ground for now. I know it's a waste, but it's they won't collect the resources as fast, so it's not really worth using them. Uh, are we, what are we going to run or run out of? Uh, I think we're going to run out of maybe some plant fibers, but those are easy to get. Yeah, so now we should start making them and they should go right into my inventory. So yeah, we're almost getting like two rocks every uh, swing now. Alright, I think what we should do is make one of these because it's kind of necessary because it's a lot easier to just dump all these right away all right yeah, let's this all right and then i need to keep making these for now it's just the endless grind the first day to get your tools at least to level 200. After that, you're pretty much good. And then I need to scrap all of my iron. go got some lead yeah so we're getting almost two things per swing now which is good right, now that we got this going let's put all these in there And I'm pretty sure I need to actually not do that at the moment. And I could also scrap these, I forgot. So we can also scrap them during the night, see if that levels up anything. Um, yeah, but I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, I think as soon as I get it to like 80, I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to stop. Uh, mining uh, rock and do some wood to start getting some more frames. So let's just... It's up there somewhere. So we're gonna just start getting some wood now to upgrade. It's a little bit better, but not amazing. I want to see how far we could get by the time it's uh, 2300 hours. Be really interesting. 
it's always just like to I like to see how far I can get within a short amount of time. And then the other thing I could do is upgrade my frames. I could upgrade my frames and that will also help uh, level up my construction tools, which is considered the axe. So let's start upgrading these. We should be able to do most of these, I think, by nighttime. I'm going to focus on the outside. <laughs> Another level. done or we should be almost out of wood right uh no we're not all right so we upgraded the outers uh let's make as many as we can yeah so we're gonna need to run a little bit farther that can't really go anywhere they're pretty much surrounding I think the best option would be just to sit here and mine um, I'm thinking I want a front door and a back door it's like if I'm running from one side I should be able to get in either way leveled up let's start placing these down I want to try to block his view if that's a thing And then let's actually make more while we wait. So I kind of place them a little bit faster. Then they can get made. And then we almost have ourselves a nice little uh, place going. Early on. Not sense or anything, which is good. Um, or I like to make, make the roofs or the walls that high. placing these down we'll have to do the outside corners maybe last all right we just finished crafting them so 
We could also do that. There we go. And we should have a fully enclosed house um, by the time it's night. Alright. Now I need to make... Um, I'm going to need to get some wood, so let's just... Yeah, for, for now, we're going to do that. All right, we got a big tree, which is good. I'm undetected, all right. So if I see the borders of the screen get bright, I know I'm being chased. Um, I'm gonna place the bedroll as soon as I get uh, like the floor set down and where I want it. But yeah, I think we're doing pretty good right now. We're about 33 minutes in, I believe, right now. Uh, I think I might make this episode an hour long. So, yeah. We still have a long way to go. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright. This axe is almost broken, so let's make another one. Oh. <laughs> and of course I actually uh, broke it on the last hit. that and yeah I think we're doing pretty good all right gonna make a ton of noise all right it's over there okay so what I need to do right now is make two secure doors and I would like that yeah okay so let's do this and then that like that and then so it's one two three four one two three four five that's all right because this isn't like the full base we're gonna extend it for sure i just want to get a good uh Layout. Get some ramp so it's easy to get in. I picked up. Yep. All right. Let's just start upgrading. Uh, or we can actually start doing some roof action. So it's six. We're gonna need a decent amount of uh, frames. Um, let's make a chest and then as many frames. So I kinda wanna put the chest in the corner. Like that. And then let's just shift click everything I don't want at the moment. Right, there we go. Um, I can make this like more of alright. So we got this going. So this is where our bed is. And then, yeah, all right, we're doing, I think we're good on frames. If we're not, we can always make more. Just, just gotta get this thing close. 
so that no spider zombies can just jump right in if they want to. Hopefully I have like six extras, kind of what I'm hoping for. All right. So we got our little thing going. Um, yeah, I think I might uh, get some wood, some stone before it becomes total darkness. And then we should be able to upgrade everything. Um, <clears throat> I might hit the stones for a little bit. Trying to get some more levels on my axe during the nighttime. I could also scrap. Well, actually, let me find it. it. Should be somewhere over there, I think. So we have two zombies outside, which isn't like the best, but they shouldn't bother me because I'm not going to be over there. Um, I don't know if there's any zombies behind me. So, and then since I, I also have the daylight time to 18 hours, so uh, they should start running around 22. And then um, they stop running at 4 o'clock. So we have plenty of time during the night to craft um, and upgrade our base. Like, the one thing you guys should know about me um, is when I play, I don't care whatsoever if it's nighttime or daytime. I'll go collect the resources whenever. Preferably in the daytime because, you know, they're not running, but I don't really care. It's, I could usually defend myself pretty well. Unless it's, I will not go outside on night seven. No, just will not. That's the other thing. We need to prepare for day seven. If we're not ready, we will be screwed. So, yeah, we need to upgrade our... Basically, we're starting out pretty good. Um, if I actually need to, I could always... That sounded really close. Um, the street is really close to being destroyed, though, so... Thing is, my stamina is a little low, um, but yeah, I should definitely be able to get my. Come on, don't don't do it, don't do it. <sighs> and I guess the one thing good about having some spares in that chest is if I ever need like an emergency one, I could grab one. But I do know I have this in here, and I could always repair. It went down to fit. Yeah, no. So it's not always the best thing to repair those, but if you want to get that skill up, it's good to use. Um, I don't think there's anything I could make that would make building a lot faster. So kind of, we just have to start upgrading. I'll have to do the outside either tomorrow or just later at night. Alright, the one thing I'm going to do though is I am going to make a... Nope, I need stones. I need to make a campfire. Let's actually upgrade these, the doors, pretty heavily. Um, I could also scrap this while I wait. So it takes about like three minutes, I think. Uh, no, just a minute, but it's going to make me 300 scrap. So we'll have uh, plenty of resources. I did not realize there's not a frame there. done with this wall all right wall one is done 
we have, I think, like, around 4,200 wood. Um, and then I kind of wish I had a little bit more stones. Because as of right now, I'll only be able to make 20 more axes. But since I can't make those, I will just make a ton of clubs to get my bow up. Or my weapon skill, I should say, up. Ah, yeah, I did that double, that's alright. Wasn't really paying attention. <sighs> alright, there's that. Finish off the floor for now. Um, I guess what I could be doing is... Oh, we actually used a lot of our wood. Did I put any away? No, maybe maybe I saw wrong, but it looked like I thought we had like some like four thousand. But I guess we did make the frames, and we did, and we are upgrading them right now. So. Alright, so they are running now, which is unfortunate. So we can make, we could upgrade 82 more. Got these going. Got it up, our skill up to level 11. Let's place our campfire right there. Now, I thought, okay, I do have coal. Can I make torches early on? Is that a torch? Yeah, see, they. I do have one. Right? Yeah, I have one. So I think I'm gonna. Let's place that down for some light. So it's not too dark for you guys. I, I think it's. I could see good, but I know that YouTube does make the video a little bit darker when it renders. So I'm gonna try to make it. Bright enough to where you guys could see, but not bright enough to where I attract every zombie in the world. Alright. We're only 34 minutes into the night. We have about three and three hours and twenty minutes left. But we do have ourselves pretty much a fully secured like base going as long as you got your upgraded frames and some wood lying around you're pretty much safe because like, you could just keep repairing them there we go all right is the whole okay now we're gonna start doing this layer And in a second, we'll go out and get some more wood. And yeah, we should be all good. I'm gonna upgrade it until I run out of wood. Level 13 construction tools. So I was gonna level up like twice already. But I do know you get a lot of XP for killing more than you do for crafting, so. Right, we can only upgrade 12 more of these. So like two rows. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's get our torch.
trying to see if I see any zombies. I do not. Alright, let's... Yeah, that'll work, I guess. <clears throat> Get some more wood. And then we could, uh... It seems like I'm getting more... Uh... Uh, wood per hit now that my construction tools is also helping this so that's good oh um where would that settlement that's my bed where is i want to look where six kilometers <sighs> show on map all right uh quick quick point it's into the desert, which is, that's a good thing, I guess. But it, since it is six kilometers away, I'm going to guess it's going to go into another biome. And that's the desert is just gigantic. All right. We doing pretty good right now. I'm going to pick up my, all right, let's pick this up. Move over here. Place this thing back down. Level three, we have 11 skill points. There's a zombie nearby somewhere. <sighs> um, let's actually start crafting ourselves some clubs. Actually, before I do that, I need to make myself... If you ever do this thing where you just make a ton of uh, clubs or something, you need to make sure you have at least a chest on you. So if you can't find the one that you were just making, um, you could always just plop one down and you will be fine. Because the, the clubs are really easy to make and they are made really fast. So, yeah, they will just be clogging up my even. <sighs> Jesus, out of nowhere, that scared me so. Uh... God no! I thought she was already in. Um. I know what to do. Swing, please. Oh, I'm dead. All right, well that's okay because I do have my bag there. I was not, I was not expecting that to happen out of just nowhere. So I'm going to respawn on my bed. Spawn near? Yes. Alright. We'll just spawn near it. So it kind of does suck that we died and we did lose um, some health. But I did not want to just spawn in there, no weapons, and just punch her. So, what I'm going to do real quick. We go and make ourselves how much wood do I need? Ten. Craft. I'm gonna make a club real quick that's level fifty two, which will do a lot more damage. And yeah, let's, we're going in. Alright. I need to change my uh, screenshot thing because I've taken like... Like a lot of uh, accidental screenshots. Alright. So... 
She's dead. Um, that kind of does suck, but it's all right. <laughs> Everything's back. Um, let's go to my character real quick. Let's find one of those chests. Like I, I, I didn't even hear her until she was already running at me. And since it's nighttime, I couldn't, uh, oh, my, my, uh, thing's still over here. I was trying to find my torch. Just literally out of nowhere. And I forgot I was, I was crouched and she stunned me. When she was hitting my base, I thought she was already in. That's why I, I was running around. And then I tried shutting the door, but yeah. All right. Where is... Yeah, see, it's just... I need to, like, have a marker. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a full inventory of just clubs. <sighs> that's... That's... All right. We are almost near the end of the episode. Um... So, I'm going to upgrade the rest of these, and we'll see what we have left in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that kind of does suck though that I died, and I now have 10 less health, but I do need to get the resources fast. So it's all right. At least it wasn't like, I'm happy that it wasn't like a lumberjack. I would have been really irritated if it was, because then I would have been stuck with like, just a huge freaking fast guy I can't kill. So that's that was one issue I was worried about. Um, but yeah, besides that, I think I handled that zombie pretty well. Besides, you know, the dying part. Besides that, yeah. Everything else was I think everything else was fine. You know. Just kinda scared me because out of nowhere I was just being hit. I didn't see the zombie until she was already on me. And then since I was mining, I couldn't run away. So it was just uh pretty bad. There we go, we are fully enclosed. There we go. All right. Now, let's scrap that. And now I should, I don't think I have enough plant, I actually know I should have en enough weapons, bow. I should now have a way higher level bow. So let's scrap that and scrap. How much? Huh. You get a decent amount of wood back for scrapping those things. It's pretty cool. So we got a level 53. So let's get. Now we can make more arrows. Six of them. Let's put these away. And I. I think we are, wait. So it's just, yeah, okay. So that it is marked on the map. That's why I was just confused. I thought there was like an airdrop or something. We'll make our way there by day five. Um, it's just so far away. I would have to bring so much food. Like it is ridiculously far, but there is the desert, so I don't think food would be an issue, or water. It would just be the surviving through the night part. So. We've got our tools up to around 60. Our weapons up to around 53. We got ourselves enclosed. And I think I'm going to end it off here, guys. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed, uh, comment, leave a like, 
any suggestions uh, for the future base that we expand on. Um, if you want me to try anything out, let me know. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And peace.